Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, we have the distinct and beautiful pleasure this morning of seeing some people be baptized after service today, which is a super cool and awesome thing that we get to do, you know, despite this time of COVID, that we could see people mature and grow in their relationship with Christ and taking this next step. So with that, I'd like to give just a few um, meditations and a few thoughts on what baptism is, baptism is and what it means, because it's really important to remind ourselves of that and remind ourselves of why it's a super important and significant part of our faith and our walk with Jesus. So um, we're going to open up the scripture really quick if you have a Bible with you, if you have your phone. Um, most of you probably probably know this uh, passage. It's uh, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, otherwise known as the Great Commission, where, where Jesus gives his last uh, words in the Gospel of Matthew to his disciples. Verse 18 says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded of you. And behold, I am with you to the end of the age. Jesus is saying to us that an integral part of becoming one of his disciples is going through um, the process of baptism. But if you're like me, you're probably wondering, like, what the heck is baptism? Why do we do it? It seems kind of a weird thing. If Jesus paid, you know, fully for our sins on the cross, why do we have to do this thing that kind of signifies the remission of sins? But... It's not necessarily forgiving us of our sins within the process of baptism itself, but what it's doing is it's signifying a promise being made with Jesus, or otherwise known as a covenant. God likes to use that word in the Bible. And throughout Scripture, whenever God makes a promise to one of his people, he um, has something to symbolize it. With Noah, he promised not to flood the earth again, and he gave them the rainbow to signify the Noahic covenant. And then um, with Abraham, promising that his descendants would be blessed and of multitude, um, he gave him circumcision as a symbol of that covenant. And with Moses, the people coming out of Israel, he gave them the Sabbath as the sign of the covenant that Moses made with God. And with David, um, God gave him the symbol of the hope of Christ's resurrection and enthronement with God in the kingdom to come. And now what we're a part of is something called the Messianic covenant, or the covenant of Jesus. And we signify and symbolize our relationship with Christ through two things. We symbolize it through communion, where we take the elements, and we take the bread, and we take the cup, and we also do baptism. So it shows that we are engaging deeper and further into this relationship with Christ, and it's a beautiful thing. Christ got baptized, and he instructed others to be baptized, so we know to become greater and become more like him, we should be being baptized ourselves. So I'm going to invite the people who are being baptized this morning to come on up, and we're going to ask them why they want to be baptized this morning and the reason behind their heart, behind their decision. So come on up, you guys. Awesome. Why don't you say your name and why you would like to be baptized this morning? My name's Chris, and the reason why I want to be baptized is because I learned a lot about God, and I've been wanting to be baptized for a while. Awesome. My name is Grant, and I want, I want to be baptized to show everybody that I love God, and I want to show Him that I love Him. You. My name's Halsey, and why I want to be baptized is because I've given my life to God, and I want to live my life for Him. Awesome. Hi, my name is Kim, and this is going to be my second baptism. I was um, baptized in the Catholic Church when I was a baby, but I don't really have any memories of it. Um, since then, I followed Christ, and then I got lost along the way. And one day, I just... <laughs> I'm sorry. One day, he just came to me and I just like gave up everything and surrendered everything to him and since then, I followed him again and today I just wanted to be baptized to publicly declare my 
faith and commitment and my love for Christ. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, man, uh, very uh, proud and excited for this moment. And very uh, proud of the decision that you've made to um, live your life for God. And uh, just uh, very proud of all my kids before this as well. Yeah, yeah Lindsay? Um, because you have confessed your faith, or because you have confessed to live your life in the faith and to live for God, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. We got him? All right, this is Grant Moffat. And Grant, it has been such a privilege for all of us, your, your big extended family and all of your friends, to watch you grow up and to watch you grow up in the Lord and in your faith. And this is a really big step today, making a public testimony of baptizing, uh, baptism. So I think it's only going to get better from here. Here on. So, Grant Moffat, uh, based on your profession of faith and your desire to follow Christ, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, this is Christopher. And a couple years ago, I think it was, maybe a year ago, Christopher's sisters were baptized at, at Canby, and uh, that was a big occasion. And, Today is the biggest for Christopher, so thank you for your testimony, Chris, and your walk with the Lord and your desire to get to know him better and to follow him for your whole life. So based on your profession of faith, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we're going to baptize two in the next one. Him, Hurley, and her baby. All right, this is Kim Hurley, and it's been just a pleasure for all of us at Cornerstone to get to know uh, him and her husband. And, and uh, I'm glad you started coming before COVID hit, so we got to know you before. But it, this has been a really special time just because... Kim is pregnant, has a high-risk pregnancy, and the Lord is taking care of her. And, and Kim, your testimony was just uh, beautiful. You just and, uh, you know, to, to hear your desire to, to walk with the Lord and to follow Him is something that I think blesses every person here and certainly makes the heart of God you know, very glad. So based on your profession of faith, I baptize you now in the name of the Father and the Son. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 